What's up my fellow gaming athletes? Welcome to another amazing video by yours truly not eight thoughts. I'm so happy here and I hope you're having a great day. If you're new here, make a great decision. Subscribe right now. It'll make your life exponentially better. And with that being said, let's get into this awesome, fantastic, Bad news though, kind of sad news. Let's keep real packed of steel. Not that great, you know, situation going on here with Grand Theft Auto 6 coming up, dudes. Video type, you know what I mean, man? So hey, listen, what what is actually really going on here? What's happening? We've got some reports coming out from the, you know the press and uh, you know some leaks, and we got a fat butt Latina, fat ass Latina as one of the main characters, which I'm cool with. I'm fine with that. I don't mind having you know ever have a good looking Latina instead of Trevor's dirty stinky underwear. You know, actually, not true. Trevor was one of the greatest characters in gaming history, but you know I don't care who they put in the game, and that's not even the point here. Like you know, I know you've seen people report on this already, talking about you know there's a Latina main character and they're going woke. No, it's worse than that because a lot of people have missed the other uh, interviews and the other information that's been released by Rockstar that is really making me worried this game's going to go woke and it's going to suck. But first of all, first of all, I don't care about who the character is, right? I mean, if the main character for GTA is like a female Latina, that, that's fine. But the fact is the part I'm going to get to in an article that they've interviewed the people from Rockstar is they're trying to be more inclusive and sensitive to social issues and causes. So the game's going to suck, really. I mean, let me get into here, but the game's going to suck because instead of being authentic, it's going to be compromised to appease wokeness. That's the problem. I don't care if what kind of characters you want to put in a game. Long as it's not like you're trying to force an issue. Like if it's natural and it just fits into the game and it's authentic and it's organic, that's cool. But when you put forced diversity and force issues into a game to appease wokeness, to try to fit some criteria, to appease some losers on Twitter with enemy profile pictures, then you know what? We're going down a fucking path that the game's gonna suck. And this interview from Bloomberg, which is the one that no one's talking about, which is talking about how they're, oh, they've changed, and they've cleaned up its frat boy culture, and you know, Grand Theft Auto 2 is the title of this article by Bloomberg, as you can see in front of your Rockstar Games cleaned up its frat boy culture, and Grand Theft Auto 2, with a new tone at the company and a change in creative direction, Grand Theft Auto 6 will probably feel very different from its predecessors. That sounds horrible. That is the worst thing you want to read. <clears throat> What makes Grand Theft Auto a good game and a franchise is it's crazy, is that it's supposed to be about criminality, it's supposed to be about dirty underworlds, that's the whole point, you're a badass, you're bad stuff going on, it's not supposed to be about, you know, friends and puppies and equalities and niceness, no, the game's supposed to be dirty, you don't want it clean. So let's read this article a bit here by Drayson Schreier, you know, and we get into why this is probably is going to be a horrible game and wokeness is going to kill it. In the summer of 2020, after a police officer, bing, 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 George, got to be careful here on the Twitters and the YouTubes and stuff, his censorship, Rockstar Games quietly shelved the mode of play it had planned to release for its Grand Theft Auto online game called Cops and Crooks. The mode was a twist on the children's game where players organized into teams of good and bad guys, but seemed especially tone deaf during the global reckoning over police violence. Senior executives at the company concerned about the narrative might be interpreted during a time of or it might be, yeah, a heightened skepticism and mistrust of American police put it aside. They still haven't made plans to bring it back, according to people familiar with development. This is one of the several politically sensitive actions Rockstar, a division of Take Two Interactive Software Corporate, has taken into recent years. The company moved transphobic jokes beginning of the wokeness from the most recent console version of Grand Theft Auto 5 and significantly narrowed its gender pay gap okay is someone please tell about the gender pay gap please can we, can we explain about this we, has, has that not been debunked already by economists and actual people who know about math not about social woke justice warriors and politicians who you know may or may not have been high school elementary teachers and then you know they end up being Prime Minister of Canada and her dad or dad may or may not be uh, Fidel Castro I don't know that's just a joke but can we actually talk about that like let me, let me get this straight so what is the main purpose of cash of rather cash what's the main purpose of running a business to make cash right that's what you have a you know business for us place corporations exist they exist to provide a product and to make money that's you know actually the law if you're a publicly traded company you must do everything in your power to create as much money and wealth for your shareholders correct correct so if you can hire a group of people that you have to pay less than men wouldn't you do that wouldn't you do that wouldn't you take a bunch of women and hire them over all the men if you could save 20 percent on pay yeah, you would, right? That be that would equate to in uh, in save prop, save money in a year, right? Because you're hiring people, you have to pay less. Wouldn't you do that? Yeah, you would. And like another thing, doesn't keep into take into consideration. Like I don't know anybody in this world where I've had a job where the women are getting paid less than the men. So tell me a job you ever worked where all of a sudden, like you know, hey, Ricky here on the is over here making uh, thirty bucks an hour, and Martha over there is making twenty five, and 
They've been here the same amount of years. I, I don't know anybody in this world. I've never even talked to a woman in my life. I don't know anybody who gets paid less because they're a woman. No one else does either. It it's actually has to do with uh, hours worked, overtime, and people have hijacked it to somehow make it sound like if they pay, get paid less now and there's a p gender pay gap, they don't take into consideration of um, a maternity leave and that they don't work the overtime and they don't work as many hours. And uh, the actual mathematical formula for it was they took how many women were in the workforce and how many men, and then they you know, basically added up how much money they made and added up how much men made and then divided it by how many women there were and men and blah, blah, blah. They didn't, like I said, take in the hours worked maternity leaves all that stuff it's a bullshit it's a debunk myth it doesn't exist sorry it doesn't maybe here and there it does obviously there's inequalities everywhere but on a massive systemic level no anyways glad i cleared that up continuing on with the video smash that like button subscribe for powerful women rockstar's next game grand theft auto 6 will include a playable female protagonist for the first time that's not true that's not true at all they had a female protagonist you could pick back in one of the previous grand theft autos that was debunked my brown little sexy bunny from Canada known as Muda Heart already debunked that. That's not true. So there you go. Thank you. The woman who is Latina, all about it, smack that ass, you know, say Mamacita, will be on one of a pair of leading characters in a story influenced by the bank robbers, Ronnie and Clyde, that people said. Developers are also being cautioned not to punch down by making jokes about marginalized groups that people said in contrast to previous games. Oh, it's so nice. It's so good. You know, yeah, we don't want to punch down guys and make jokes on a, on a piece of art and game. Give me a fucking break. I mean, just, okay, cool. It doesn't mean like a big deal. I'm just saying, like, give me a break. Well, we're not punching down. Moves like these once seemed unthinkable for a company whose best-selling franchise is a satirical depiction of America that involves playing gangsters who kill civilians where women are mostly depicted as sex objects. Yeah, because that's what they are. Duh. Make some kids. Stay home and cook me a sandwich, lady. Grand Theft Auto V was a nihilistic parody that threw insults at everything from right wing radio hosts, I love it, to liberal politicians. I love it. I love make fun of everybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm all about that equality. Everyone gets a smack in the face. Inside the company, the tone wasn't much different. Rockstar employees described a workplace culture full of drinking, f f brawling, and excursions to strip clubs. Um, can I get a job? That sounds awesome. That sounds like a place where, we, where guys want to work. I mean, I don't care what you see on Twitter. I don't care what you see on the internet. That's not real life. I, I tell you what, man. That's just a bunch of bullshit. People put up a facade. But the internet's not real life. Dudes want to party. They want to beat each other up. They want to go to strip clubs. That's not true, Daddy, 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 thoughts. Oh, I, I like going to furry conventions. And what do they do at furry conventions? Bang. The company was an early symbol in an, of an industry-wide problem of long hours at the office known as crunch, in which staff were expected to be at their desk many nights and weekends in order to keep a game on schedule. Well, you know what? That's the job. You know when you're a cop and you get shot at and you complain? Well, obviously you're not going to do that because you took the job knowing you're going to get shot at. Well, you're a firefighter and you take the job and you're going to run into a burning building to save Wings of Redemption because he's eaten so much freaking Pepsi and Wendy's chili that he's not even, that's a stomach staple disease thing, didn't even work out, that surgery was bogus, and he's so fat that he needs a crane to get out of the house, and then you're running in there with 10 of your firefighter buddies, you know what I'm saying? Like 402 Thunder running in, like, woo, woo, Legend of Thunder. And then you're running up in there, like, damn, we got this big fat guy. We got to save him and get him out of the damn. You don't complain about that. Why? Because that was part of the job. Just ban anybody here in the chat who ain't fucking subscribing. That strategy was financially successful and turned Grand Theft Auto V in the second best selling game of all time. Oh, let me, let me repeat that. This is a really important part of the whole story. Let me repeat that. That strategy was financially successful and turned Grand Theft Auto V into the second best selling game of all time with 165 million copies sold. Oh, so if you keep it a real pack in the steel, people like that. And if you bring a bunch of nonsense, people don't like that and you end up getting canceled, right? Hey, might want to cue into that, right? That's an important thing. Might, but hey, we got to change everything, guys. We got to be nice. We can't punch down. Who? We need some female empowerment. We need, you know, we need to go, instead of strip clubs, we need to go to a freaking puppy mill and, you know, rescue puppies. Which I'm cool with that. Actually, I'm about with that. We save the animals. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what we need to do. It also led to burnout, attrition, and a public controversy in 2018 that prompted hundreds of rockstar employees to speak out about the difficult work environment. Hey, hey, right, I'm dying. You know, hey. They'll take care of you. They won't take care of you. You know what I'm saying? Get a union. Ah, union suck. And I thought, yeah, well, you got two days off a week because of a union. Shut your mouth. You people don't know what the hell you're talking about. Since the outcry, Rockstar has attempted to reinvent itself as a more progressive. Oh, God, here we go. Here we go. As a more progressive and compassionate workplace, according to interviews with more than 20 people. Oh, they interviewed 20 people. 
That's a large pool to get a bunch of information. Oh my, so they interview 20 people. Probably Wayman and a bunch of nerds who use rose skins and cancel slide and have TTV in their name and have four people watching them if they're lucky on Twitch. That's what they interviewed. All whom requested an anonymity. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I know what my name out there. Because they weren't authorized to speak publicly. One employee described it as a boys club transformed into a real company. I spoke. Okay, that's definitely a nerd. That's a that's definitely a nerd or a beta male nerd or a woman named Karen. Kind of kinder, gentler rock star? No. Still produce the chart-topping caliber of a game the studio has been known for? Some employees aren't sure. Thank you. Thank you. No, they can't. No, they're not. You're going to fuck the franchise up. Morale Comoros, the company is higher than it's ever been. Oh, yeah, kumbaya, my lords. Don't go to Activision summer camps. But the development of Grand Theft Auto 6 has been slower than impatient fans and even longtime employees have expected. Much has to do with the pandemic. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. But the delay is also due to some of the changes that the company's implemented in an effort to improve working conditions. I'm about that. If you're working these guys to the bone, give them some time off. I got no problem with that. Let's keep it real. Like, you know, you ain't, I ain't trying to make a slave. This ain't, this ain't Nike factory in China, bro, with like 12-year-old kids working to make my fucking Jordans at a premium price. You know what I'm saying? No. These are white people and brown people and black people in a Western country that matter. Not a bunch of foreign people that no one cares about. But you know what? Colin Kaepernick got a Netflix special and then he went back to the NFL. <laughs> Some workers say they're still trying to figure out how to make games at this the new iteration of Rockstar and wondering what Grand Theft Auto game looks. Oh no. Oh no, this is a bad word. Let me read that slowly. Some workers say they're still trying to figure out how to make games at this new iteration of Rockstar and wonder even what a Grand Theft Auto game looks like in today's environment. Besides, several Rockstar employees point out that you can't really satirize today's America. It's already a satire of itself. You know what's funny? A liberal will say that and not realize that they're the biggest fucking joke going right now with all these people out here with the nonsense and bull crap and a bunch of empty words and trivial joke. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I imagine they're talking about the Trumpster and all those people, but they don't realize, like, you know what, listen, I ain't trying to have no allegiance to anybody, but let's keep it real. Hutch is a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, this is long, dude. How long is it? I look at this, man. I I hate the quartering. This is gonna be like a forty-five minute long video, bro. We keep going with this. The Steelers bolt. The college seven day work week. Doctor, la 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 la. Chester's a rock star. Okay, man. Sticking the pleasure of the problem. You know what? I think we got the just of it. What we get you on? Okay, let me just read the last paragraph. Many others, however, say they're content to work at a company where there's little pressure to get a new game out the door. Grand Theft Auto Five, which came out in twenty thirteen, yeah freaking nine years ago is the most profitable entertainment property of all time thanks to its multiplayer component it's it's making billions hope these guys are getting cuts long story short i imagine i hope grand theft Auto doesn't go woke and go broke and turn into some melted down watered down little weenie small peeny energy you know what i'm saying i want andrew tate up in there coming through with his kickbox and leg kicks joe rogan bulldog ripping asses taking names and having a great time and banging latinas in the back alleys and then shooting them to take their money back you know what i'm saying that's what i want i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm gonna end this rip the bandit off and call it a dizzle thanks my nizzles and last but not least and most important my shizzles for rizzles y'all make sure to stabilize axes and don't let the honky crackers rip Please and shape shape just bring you down. Uh, I messed up the whole outro there. Whatever. Hit it, Tom Jones.